lot of good organizations out there. There's very few that really excel, and Home for Our Troops is one of them. Uh, they've given out uh, about 167 handicap accessible homes, and by the end of this year, they'll have 200 of them around the country. And uh, when I say handicap accessible homes, I mean handicap accessible homes, every bit of it. Um, at, as I lost my leg, at my, the home I was in before, I would have to, uh, the wheelchair wouldn't fit into the bathrooms, and I would have to hop. But if my, my other knee, I took a bullet right through that knee, and as it would go out, sometimes I'd have to crawl to the toilet, mm -hmm. or crawl to the shower. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect. And they came out and they made the, the process very comfortable. They let you pick out a piece of land, they give you a few options on the house, and they build you a house even a little bit too handicap accessible because they make the whole kitchen handicap accessible and then you have no excuse not to make your wife breakfast in bed. <laughs> laundry, yeah. So I had a few complaints with them afterwards. You know? But uh, these houses, just for the material part of it, is about four hundred and seventy thousand dollars. You know, just shy of five hundred thousand, just for the materials. And uh, you know, they donated one to me, and uh, then when I was going to lose both legs, and uh, I said, you know, uh, it's not fair to my family, and uh, I, I ended up taking it, and I was just, I'm so blessed by it. Um, now it's going to hopefully save my other leg. Uh, they're still saying they're amputated within five years, but um, I, it's feeling much better now. Because I, I received a home, and I was able to, uh, to finally, after five years, you know, say, okay, I'm going to take a leg off, I'm going to... I'm not going to feel sorry about myself, I'm not going to dwell upon the past and my buddies that have died. Um, and I got the house and, and it, it enabled me to get up and to keep going. And uh, believe me, I, you know, it, watching the movie brought back a lot of memories because cause I was there for a lot of years. And all my army buddies, I've only reunited only a few years ago. Mm. They, they couldn't find me. Mm. Nobody could get a hold of me for years. I wouldn't talk to them. You know, I felt guilty for leaving them. I felt guilty for a lot of reasons. Uh, I left them in the middle of a firefight. You know, and that's it's, it's hard to do. You know, I as I was medevaced out, I saw people down there still fighting. And uh, so it took a lot of a lot. Of, well, now it's been ten years. It was ten years this month. April 9th this year was ten years. Um, and so now the last few years I've been with my guys. I've been uh, we've been healing each other. You know. <laughs> So it's good. Um, the movie was very real. It was uh, a little bit too real at times, uh, but but America should see it. You know, if our leaders that we elect are going to send us to war, they should see what's going to be really true. And the truth is, that was a movie. But the real truth is, that was reality. For right now, tens of thousands of guys across America are sitting there self-medicating, popping pills, punching holes in the wall. I've broken all my knuckles. I pat, I'm a very, anybody has any extra work they need patching holes in the walls? I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I am fortunate not to have multiple tours. I would not be sitting here right now, I guarantee it, if I had more than one tour, if I finished that tour maybe. But I had two and a half months in combat. And I spent five years of nightmares. Some of these guys, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, I don't know how they do it. I am so fortunate to just, I would take missing both legs any day over the mental strain that these guys come back with. I don't know if I'm coming back.